morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Hope you had a great weekend. European stock markets were mixed, uh, you know, ranging from Finland being up 3.5% last week to Greece being down 5.6%. The action appears to be on a global perspective in Indonesia. Indonesia's had some great results. Uh, Indonesia is indeed uh, trading up 3.2% for year to year and uh, showing economic growth of plus four percent. All the other big stock markets in the region, uh, China, India, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Vietnam uh, are all down. Uh, this may have something to do with Indonesia's cutting its rates. Um, secondly, the other global thing is Euro finance. As you know, the uni credit situation uh, did nothing to help uh, uh, the outlook, uh, they had to sell the uh, rights offering at a 65% 65 dis 65 discount to the current price of the stock, and of course the current price of the stock thereupon crashed. Um, you know, in the gold area, uh, we think gold is going to continue trading in this range from 1590 to 16 and a quarter. We've been looking at, and we will report to you further on, some studies that are going on in the relationship between the price of copper and the price of gold. Uh, we're having some difficulty uh, uh, working with those as yet, but once we uh, get them uh, into our uh, mindset, uh, then we will certainly uh, apprise you of any connections that we discover between the price of copper and the price of gold. Um, we're also seeing uh, this week in the energy sector that uh, there's some big problems for refiners. They're shutting down refineries both in the United States and in Europe. The European uh, refinery shutdowns may be coming as a result of credit issues, um, but the fact of the matter is refiners are trying to move uh, and you can't really move refineries, uh, they are trying to move refining capacity to Asia. So they're going to be uh, taking steps, and they are already building capacity in Asia. To give you a concrete example of cuts in this country, Sunoco has closed two refiners, and uh, Conoco is in the process of closing one as well. So uh, this indicates to us that the margins for refiners have been severely cramped by the uh, pricing uh, that has gone on in oil the last while, and as a consequence, we expect to see more and more contraction in the uh, uh, in the refining industry. Uh, it's also interesting to note that both both South Korea and Japan have already begun to seek alternatives to Iranian oil. In the general energy sector, we want to point out to you JOY, Joy Global, which with Caterpillar has a duopoly on mining equipment, big mining equipment, all the stuff you see on TV that's you know, vast and 10 stories high and 200 feet across. That stuff's only made by two groups, of, by two companies. Uh, uh, and Joy Global's had some great numbers. Uh, their sales were up 25 percent, their nets up about 34 percent. So we encourage you to look at that stock, J-O-Y. Um, I think that about covers our territory for today. Uh, we expect a uranium, as indicated in our Friday comment, to trade in a fairly narrow range going forward. Uh, there are a lot of cool things going on in rare earths. You might want to look at some of our specific commentaries, both on rare earths that's in the morning call, uh, and our updated MollyCorp portfolio. Excuse me, our updated MollyCorp preferred A commentary, uh, which is indeed being updated as we speak. So keep an eye out for that. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Keep swinging.